Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, and in this session we'll be talking about some of the general changes that have been made in SolidCam 2000. We've added now in SolidCam a new tab within SolidWorks itself. We had assembly and all these other tabs over here as before. We've also added now a tab for SolidCam. This will allow you to do new parts directly from this tab over here, all these buttons over here. This is in addition to the drop down menu that we have on top, making it a lot more easier and more visual for the operator to use. We've also made a change in the look of our cam views. If I were to go in and open up my cam views, you'll see now that my cam views is looks exactly like the views that are within SolidWorks itself. If I go over here, you can see that we're using basically the same symbols for our views. We've also made it possible now to run our About SolidCam option over here to see what version you're working in without having the dongle inside the computer itself. I can also get to that field by simply clicking on the icon on the tab bar as over here. By clicking on that, I also see the version that we're working on. We've also made it easier now to delete coordinate systems. If I were to go into my coordinate system manager and I would like to delete, say, these three coordinate systems over here that I'm not using. I would mark all three of them, as shown over here. When I right-click and click on Delete, previously, when this happened, it would ask me for each one of them if I want to delete them. But since now that I've created a group of all three of them and click, the, and click on Delete Now, what happens is it immediately asks me if I want to, to delete all of the selected coordinate systems. Simply by clicking Yes, automatically, all three of them will now be deleted without asking me for each one individually to be deleted. We've also made an improvement within our operation of our simulation button at the bottom. For example, if I were to choose a geometry, say the one going around the part itself, and I'll choose a tool, say this tool over here, I'll just simply go into make technology, do a finish cut, and choose my lead in and lead out. Now, if I were to go directly to simulate without saving calculate, previously by doing this, it would say the part is not calculate. I would have to go back and calculate the part and then go back to simulate. Now, if I click on it, it just tells me that my operation is not calculated, and it allows me to calculate it right now at this point. By saying yes, it calculates the part and then brings me directly into simulation. Now, what we've also done as far as our simulation goes is that we've added the option of being able to choose all of these operations such as here, as shown over here, and to show the simulation by just simply clicking on one of these checkboxes. By doing that, you can see now the simulation for every single one of the operations that were done for all of those parts. Every single, every single toolpath is now visible without having to click on each one individually. We've also made an improvement in our operation numbering in our CAM Manager. If in our CAM settings, we go to our CAM Manager and we have our Use Automatic Numbering of CAM manager items clicked. Now, if I were to add a split at a certain point, say over here, let's just give it a name, the split itself does not get a number now in the CAM manager. The numbers are designated to the operations now only. And our last item for this particular recording if we take a look at a machining process, we have a machining process open. We were not able to close this machining process. What we've added now is the actual 
close button, which was missing, which we do have now within the machining process itself, closing our machining process. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.